Okay, now, so then the question is, is 76 the best movie ever out of Nigeria? No. The answer is absolutely not. There's no need for you to be scared. You know how much I love you. We continue to suffer in silence out of sheer loyalty to this nation. And this is your best way to handle this. This guy is a snitch. We shouldn't take any chances. What am I to you? I am yet to see the family of yours that deserves the respect you bring! So today I'll be talking about a brand new Nigerian movie titled 76. Now, you guys have been asking for this review, like, please, how did get talk about 76? What do you think about 76? And what have you? So finally, I'm going to share my thoughts with you, okay? Now, 76 is a brand new Nigerian movie that was directed brand new Nigerian movie that was directed by Izu Ojuku. The movie features Richard Dominic, Daniel K. Daniel, Ramsey Noah, Ibunabo uh, Fubresima, Chidi Mokime, and a number of actors and actresses. Now, background information. If you're wondering 76, what kind of title is that? Well, the movie was set back in 1976. Hence, 76 the title yeah very creative i know <laughs> anyway so yeah so the movie was set back in 1976 and it's a, a a love story a political love story so it's it's pretty much predominantly a love story that was set in a particular time and era so be thinking half of a yellow sun kind of thing yeah just just let your mind wonder like okay that one was biafra this one is the coup all right so it was a love story set back in 1976 over oh, five i'm going to rate some six of four yeah i didn't think it was perfect i thought there were quite a few flaws which i'm going to mention to you guys but i do think it's one of the best movies out of nigeria in 2016. now starting with the things that i loved about 76 number one thing that jumped out at me was the set design i mean set design costumes and makeup those three things were well depicted they depicted that era like the huge pants you know and the makeup and the big hair you know all those things were well depicted in this movie the set design starting from the radio to the music player to the plates to the everything you know looked like what it should look like so of course you could tell that they put a lot of attention to detail in regards to that and of course the production quality was fantastic as well now i'm talking about picture cinematography was good but the picture was very it was it gave it uh, it, was, it was it wasn't black and white but there was a greenish kind of feel to it to make you feel like you're watching an old film because of the era in which it was set Another thing I liked and really enjoyed about the movie was the soundtrack, you know, the kind of music they chose to play and to insert in the right places. It made, them, it made it more um, interesting to like just keep going and enjoying the film and just become relaxed because you, you're getting that old school feel, which is actually good. Okay, now let's talk about the story. The story is very interesting as well. I mean, it's a love story, but what makes it interesting? Uh, where the challenges surrounding the love story starting with the neighbor who constantly plays music at night and refuses to sleep and she's playing music and dancing and whatnot to the family of the wife who do not agree with the marriage and the union of an Igbo with an Aosa guy and all of that. You know, so all of those things were... And then, of course, the politics. So you have the love story, you have the politics, and then you have the challenges surrounding the love story, you know, in that time. All right, so as far as the things I did not quite like or enjoy about the movie, I'm going to start with the sound design and the music. You know, I talked about how I liked the music choice, blah, 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 you know, the background and the soundtrack and all of that. Now, what I did not quite like was the fact that the, the, the sound design wasn't the best. Because when you're watching at the cinema, now let me try and pick paint this picture to you imagine you're watching a movie at a cinema and you have two speakers you have two speakers where the the sound is supposed to be coming out from and then you're you're watching and then you you have the background music and you have the dialogue so the dialogue is coming out of one speaker and the background music is coming out of another speaker and it gets distracting sometimes and then that even happens so it's like the, the the sound is coming out of two separate channels now let's break it down to the acting the acting was phenomenal i mean ramsey noah depicted that character of 
a guy who is confident, who doesn't talk too much, but who has, who loves his wife. Very stubborn, very stubborn man, but very principled at the same time. So it was, without saying too much, he was able to depict that character. I really enjoyed him. However, I think that it could have worked better with his accent because his accent is, you know, there was a way they spoke English at that time. You know, so his accent was like up, down, today, good, tomorrow. Eventually, got in time, he just became normal rounds to not speaking. And I was like, okay, let's just stick to that, you know, because it was a bit distracting. I was like, ah, oh, okay. But with Adomi, this have a stronger grasp on the accent, which I really enjoyed. The movie also started out slow. I mean, it was just like, okay, you know, the, the, it, it, was, it dragged a bit before it eventually picked up, you know. So at the end of the day, talking about the entire movie in general, I think it was fantastic what Izu Ojuko did with this movie. I think he had a clear vision of what he wanted to do. I mean, there were a few scenes there that were Nollywood-ish, you know, like the scenes with with her Dominic and her parents and all of that, which is fine. At the end of the day, it's a Nollywood movie and we love it, you know. But I think Izojuk is a fantastic movie director and, you know, whatever it lays his hands upon is just like, ah, Izu directed it kind of thing. <laughs> so I think it's a fantastic movie. I think you definitely need to see it. Not only go to the cinemas to go watch it, but also buy it as well. So six is a fantastic movie and I think indeed it was worth the wait. So those are my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have you seen 76? Let me know. What do you guys think down below? Did I miss anything? Remind me down below in the comment section. Let's get the conversation going. I always like to get in your head and see what you guys are thinking when you see the movie. And if you haven't seen it, make sure to go see it. It's currently showing in Nigerian cinemas. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Remember to stay subscribed. I'll be back more often. I'm going to do some end of the year videos like best of this, best of that, whatever. But yeah, so just stay tuned. You know, I'm going to keep it coming. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again. Remain in God. God bless you. Bye.